How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to download a book on the uh, Nexus 7 tablet. It's a very simple process. Uh, the Nexus 7 actually comes stock with uh, Google's book reading app. So literally if you go to the bottom right here and just tap on the book, it's going to take you right here to your library. And so these are all the books that I've well, these three came with it, and then I just downloaded this school, this book right here. So I want to show you what a book looks like on here first. So um, this is actually a, more of a children's book, but the it's pretty cool. The pages are animated, which I like. Okay, we can also when you tap the screen, all your options come up to be able to change the font. So um, is that right? Yeah, right there. So if you want to go larger or smaller with the font, just tap the plus. And the fonts are getting bigger. It's literally going like one inch at a time. So you can, you know, make the fonts bigger. You can change the the line style. Uh, you can change from day to night, and it will kind of show a little different. It'll have a black background over white. Let's go ahead and switch that back. So I'm not digging that too much. You can actually search for words in the text. So if you're trying to find a certain name or, you know, if a word comes up, you can go right to your table of contents. And, and uh, this is pretty cool because you can actually look at it from here instead of having to jump back to that first page. You could jump right like to chapter 13 if you wanted to. And then, you know, you could also make bookmarks in the book. And then you can go back to those pages really simple. So this is, you know, definitely great for a kid that's, you know, you're trying to get into reading. You know, let them read digitally. Let them take notes. Let them really have some fun with it. And they might be a little bit more inclined to read more. At the bottom here, we have our um, our marker here that kind of lets us jump through chapter to chapter. And then we have our other marker right here that lets you go page. This lets you go page by page. Yeah. I can jump to page nine. I can go up to page 44. Okay. So that's just what a book looks like. If you want to download a book, we go back here. And now we're... Um, here we go. Now we're back to this is the home screen of the uh, the book application. All you're gonna do is tap this little symbol right here, and it'll take you right to the Play Store. This is where you're gonna download books. And so you can see the list of all the books that are available on the uh, Google Play Store. So this is one option, and I always just type in free just to see if we can get a good free book. So type in free. It'll give you a list of all the free books. And we books is in this section right here. So let's go to the postcard killers. James Patterson book here. You can download a sample or we can just go free. Just tap free. And then it's going to ask you to accept it and buy it. Now, obviously you're saying if it's free, why do I have to buy it? Well, basically because it saves the fact that you bought it. So press accept. So even, though you're, even though you're paying nothing for it, it's still considered a purchase. So... Uh, don't worry if you hit buy they're going to charge you and then you can either keep shopping or you can go to read it or you know whatever let's go let's go to read and now we can see it in our library here and it downloads super fast so uh, there it is and now we're just going to go back to our main screen here and so this is our new book right here now for you guys that say hey I switched from a Kindle I have a bunch of books I bought on Amazon I want to look at those books no problem. You can actually download the Kindle app. You would actually go here to the Play Store. And then you would want to go to the search and just type in Kindle. You could download the Kindle app for it and just hit search. And it thinks it's a book, so we're going to just change this to apps. And there it is. Kindle apps here. I've actually already installed it, so we can just go to open and here's my Kindle right here and I was currently reading a book that I had downloaded it's really nice just being able to, to just jump to any platform and just be able to read out that's one of my favorite things about uh, using Amazon and downloading digital books so these are some of the different books that I have purchased so let me kind of show you how this works okay because uh oh sorry when you first download the app Hold on. I don't want to see my archived items. Or 
Well, anyway, when you first actually look at the app, the first thing you, you'll, you'll see won't be this. It's going to ask you to put in your email and password for your Kindle account, for your Amazon account. So you'll put your email and password in. Then it will take you here and, and basically it'll show you your archived items. Archived items is showing you all the books that you've purchased. And then if you want to download them, there's a little cloud in the corner right here. You tap that cloud and then it just downloads right to your Kindle or right to your Nexus 7 and you'll have it in seconds. Okay? So we'll let that work. And I um, guess I can wait a few seconds while that download. This was a book I purchased for school because I had to read a couple of plays. And so now there it is. One thing I don't like is it doesn't do the pages with that uh, animation. I really kind of wanted to do that. But this is actually cool. This is a, um, a note that I took on a different device. You know, I highlight it and it saves it on there and it allowed me to go back and see it. So that's a really cool just feature of Kindle, how everything kind of syncs together. So here are all your books. And literally it's as easy as just tapping a book and saying, hey, I want to read that. Or if you want to look for a new book, you can go right to Kindle store. And here it's going to ask you what browser you want to use. We're going to go Chrome. Yours will probably just launch automatically so don't worry about that part but it's going to take you right to Amazon's website and then you'll be able to search for books the way you will on the computer and then remember you can pinch to zoom so we can just pinch to make it bigger uh, to make it easy for you to kind of see what's going on on the screen there so this was how to download a book on the Nexus 7 pretty simple process um, this is again a really awesome tablet and um, reading is just one of the main things you can do on it. So hope you found this helpful. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you uh, found the video helpful. Uh, subscribe to H2 Tech Videos and keep watching, all right? Have a good one.